Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of a rectangular discrete pulse. That is, we are going to look at the Z transform of a discrete rectangular pulse. That is, by definition, x of n is equal to a constant like 1 for example uh, with values of n between 0 and n minus 1 so it's a like a window function or a rectangle function in the uh, outside this interval the values are 0 it means the signal will look like this here it is 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n minus 1 the values are all 1 and the rest of the values are all zeros so for this signal we want to find the this corresponding z transform. So by using the definition x of z will be equal to n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n. Now z transform can be written as since we have values only from 0 to n minus 1 the summation is on only from n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is 1 and we have z power minus n. So clearly this z transform is equal to 1 plus z inverse plus z power minus 2 plus and so on up to z power minus n minus 1. So that is the z transform. Now by using the definition of a geometric series of finite duration that is a summation alpha power n with n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 the definition is actually equal to 1 minus alpha power capital N divided by 1 minus alpha. So that is the definition. Now this now coming back to the z transform, x of z will be equal to 1 minus and alpha is clearly equal to z power minus 1. So 1 minus z power minus n and 1 by and by 1 minus z power minus 1. So and this is valid only for values of z not equal to 1. And for z equal to 1, we can directly substitute z equal to 1 in this uh, summation so that we have for x of z will be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to uh, n ones. So we have summation equal to n for z equal to 1. Therefore, the final x of z that is the z transform is given by n for z equal to 1 and 1 minus z power minus n divided by 1 minus z power minus 1 for z not equal to 1. Now coming to ROC of this signal or R of C of this z transform we can directly look at this uh, series or this summation and clearly see that the ROC is the whole z plane excluding z equal to 0. So the ROC is the whole z plane excluding z equal to 0. So to summarize we have derived the z transform of the rectangular pulse or a discrete rectangular pulse uh, of length n. So we directly apply the definition of the z transform and see that the z transform is basically a polynomial uh, of z power minus 1 of our degree n. So by using the definition of the geometric series of finite duration that is n equal to 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n is equal to the summation is equal to 1 minus alpha power n by 1 minus alpha. Here alpha will become z minus 1 z power minus 1. Therefore x of z will be equal to is equal to 1 minus z power minus n by 1 minus z power minus 1 for z not equal to 1. And in the special case, in z equal to 1, we have x of z equal to n. Therefore, the z transform is n for z equal to 1 and 1 minus z power minus n by 1 minus z power minus 1 for z not equal to 1. And the ROC for this z transform is the whole z plane excluding the origin. Thanks for watching.